Hello everyone, welcome back. This is part 10 of chapter 10, our study in gases. And in this we're going to go back and we're going to look at the stoichiometry of reactions that deal with gases. And we can always, always in, in the back of your mind, remember that we can always figure out how many moles we have by using the ideal gas law. So the number of moles is, is equal to PV divided by RT. All right, and so we also know that STP, remember one mole is 22.4 liters in case we need that, put that back so that we can remember. All right, so let's look at a practical example of this. Um, we have methanol that can be synthesized by this reaction. So carbon monoxide and hydrogen gas is gonna give us methanol. And so we've got one mole of CO, two moles of hydrogen, and we're gonna produce one mole of CH3OH. All right, so I'm going to take my inventory. I have um, a pressure of 738 millimeters of mercury. And I know that I'm gonna have to convert that to atmosphere, so I'm gonna go ahead. And that's gonna give me 0 0.968 atmospheres. My temperature is in Kelvin already, 355K. My R, always the same. Now, I'm trying to figure out volume. That's what it's asking me in this, in this question. The volume in liters of a gas, 355K, 738 millimeters of mercury, and I have 35.7 grams of methanol. So I need to know how many moles that is, right? Because these are going to be reacting in molar ratios, and so um, 35.7 grams of C3OH. I need to know what the molar mass of that is, right? So I've got 12 plus 3 plus 16 plus 1. That gives me 32. So one mole is 32 grams. And so that means that... Um, Let's see if I wrote it down anywhere. So that means that I have 35.7 divided by 32. I have 1.16 moles of CH. 3OH. Now remember, it's asking me for liters of the hydrogen gas though, not the methanol. So what I'm going to have to do is I and I could have done this all in one step, but now that I know that there's 1.16 moles of CH3OH, the stoichiometry part of this is I have to look and see what is the mole ratio between CH3OH and hydrogen, which is what I'm looking for. So for every one mole of my methanol, it's going to take two moles of your hydrogen. And so that means that my number of moles of hydrogen is going to be um, 2.23, right? 1.16, yeah, okay. All right, so 2.23 moles of hydrogen gas. All right, so now that I know the number of moles, Okay, that's N. So now I can plug it in as long as everything's in the right units. And I did that up front, so that saves me some work. So I'm solving for V. So PV equals NRT. V equals NRT divided by P. So N is 2.23 moles times R. times temperature, all divided by atmospheres. All right, and so when I plug my numbers in, and you should do that always to make sure that you're getting the same thing, 
um, I got 67.1 um, yeah 67.1 liters Now, if you got a slightly different, if you're if you're close to 67, okay, um, depending on how you round and all those things, um, then you should be golden, okay. So there we go for um, calculating uh, using stoichiometry for gases. And then you, I gave you a couple of practice ones on this because you know stoichiometry is like the heart of chemistry. Um, also, you can use molar mass um, in these stoichiometries as well. And this one in the book, okay, they're showing you if you've got something at STP, okay, you know some things about that. All right. First of all, it's standard temperature and pressure. So you know that the temperature in this is going to be zero degrees or 273K. You know, in this particular case, the volume is 1.24 liters, and the pressure is going to be one atmosphere, right? And our buddy R is 0 0.0821 liter atmosphere over mole K. So we're looking for grams, but when we see grams, we think moles. Okay, so N is what we're going to find first and we know that the the gas is oxygen so we know that the formula weight of O2 is 32 grams per mole okay all right so what we're going to do and, and there's there's ways you can do this using the molar mass and the 22.4 and all that I typically just stay with the regular way we've been doing them instead of kind of complicating things and 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 so that way we're kind of staying on track okay so um we we have a we have a reaction two moles of h2 with one mole of oxygen giving us two moles of water and so we have um We have 1.24. So this time what we're going to do is we're going to find N um, for the H2. Okay. So we're going to find N for the H2. And then we're going to put it into our stoichiometric ratio to figure out moles and grams for the other one. So this is kind of like almost backwards from what we did before. All right. So in this one, we're going to start with our PV equals NRT because N is the only thing we're missing right now. So N is equal to PV over RT. So N is equal to one atmosphere times 1.24 liters. Sorry. I get, I get going quick and then I forget to put my units in there sometimes, but it's very important. And then T is 298K. And so N for, this is for hydrogen, H2, because I'm using its numbers, is 0 0.055 moles. So this is for hydrogen. All right. So if hydrogen is 0 0.005 moles, I'm wanting to know how many grams of water. So I've got to do my molar ratio and in this particular case, it's two moles of hydrogen to two moles of water. So I'm actually going to end up with the same number of moles of H2O. And so I get rid of moles of hydrogen. So then I can go ahead and say one mole of water is 16 plus 2 is 18. So 18 grams per mole, right? And so that's going to directly give me that I've got 0 0.99 grams of water. Okay, so that one wasn't so hard, was it? So you, again, you're doing the stoichiometry. The thing you got to remember, though, is you use a balanced chemical equation because often I give you the information on one thing and then I ask you to do 
um, the calculations and tell me how much of another component we have. All right, and there's your practice. And remember, when you see STP, you know the temperature is zero Celsius or 273K and the pressure is one atmosphere. All right, and that is it for um, molar volume and using stoichiometry in gas equations.